All right, folks. This is again Deus Ex Human Revolution. Director's Cut for the PC. What will be different this playthrough? This will be, of course... Well, the first time I played through this game, I rocked it stealth-wise. And there's really no problem at all, because if you know how to stealth, it's not a big problem. This playthrough is going to be quite a bit different. This one's going to be no mercy, no hacking, no survivors. And we're going to be playing it on Gimme Deus Ex. Because I am one with the machine. It also may be no side quest, but I'll leave that up to the people watching at home. I am recording this live, or streaming it live. Is everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort, and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control them most of it. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's Science Board contains next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraph is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Seraph wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. Answer Jamoni's question. There will be no mines used in offensive ways on this Engine playthrough. Washington I definitely showed how continue to just overpower they are. Most are demanding that same. Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are sent to arrive in Washington tomorrow. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. All right, folks, I'll adjust the volume right now. I just want that cutscene to get over first. I forget that on my... 1080 profile, uh, my volume's just a bit louder, so let's go ahead and fix that. Alright, back to the action. Of course, we have all these books and everything. We're not going to be reading. There's no reading on this playthrough. I did plenty of reading on the first playthrough, right? This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it. Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow zones. Okay. 
but the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOC cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double-check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of... Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading Mr. 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 I'll ask That's David to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. Not all There's military. another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. I'm going to break the immersion right here for a second. It's funny looking at that robot on the treadmill, seeing it, some of the stuff they made over at uh, some of the Massachusetts labs and whatnot, like the big dog. We're almost there, people. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. No, 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 General that's... was telling me you've made progress on the Typhoon. Yes, that's on Jordan. Thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon... No, O'Neill, that's on Jordan. Come on. ...uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the back blast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. And we will be making use of that in this playthrough. Still, Shadow asks, is this a dumb and violent playthrough? It'll still be somewhat stealthy, but there will be no survivors. I'm afraid I have to run. He should sound like Lambert on Toten Fucks because he is Lambert. <laughs> he is Don Jordan, voice of the uh, leader of Third Echelon. You're missing. And of course, Coben. Well, or Coben. I should say, M. Jensen is also voiced by the same man who does. Uh, Everybody Who does Coben? One of my favorite characters from Splinter Cell Conviction and from a Splinter Cell Blacklist. A man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. Oh, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. Also, whoever could get me uh, Coben's voice actor in the chat, I'd appreciate it. I can't remember his last name. It's kind of funky. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Hubert. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Ah, uh, here comes the mood killer. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Ah, yes. Elias Tofexis. You fix that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find a loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait. I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Yeah. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. Not just any in kind of cop or SWAT man. Plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers, Athena. It transmits data to our dedicated satellite. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. I wonder if Service Vest, you know, repels radar. It looks like it would. Research. She explained it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. 
We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. 0451. Get someone to shut mm -hmm. off the damn racket. Yes, sir. Miguel. Thank goodness I can use my keypad. It helps my immersion anyway. Pritchard, where's Megan? She report in yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microchem labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Pritchard? Pritchard! Just wanted to make sure my controls were the same they are. I was gonna say, I don't think we see any enemies for a bit. Any ones we can actually kill. Are you alright, buddy? I can't do anything for you. Might as well put him down. I said there was no mercy. Maybe there's a little mercy. Only mercy kill it. My god. That's some quality glass. He doesn't even pay me any mine. Okay, good, I can throw stuff. Is there anything just laying around? Nah. <laughs> Not gonna be looting too much in this playthrough. We'll see. This is really just for funsies. I've already dominated this game so hard. Alright, I think our first combat's coming up. Yep, this is it. Alright, let me remember the stealth. There you go. Got fancy moves going off. I don't think they can see you just yet. They should be through the door, our first encounter. Yep, there they are. And of course, since this is the No Survivors playthrough, every one of these guys has to die. Somehow they know I'm in the area. Keep running. I'm not running. Watch your case. It's called Tactics. Who the hell is this guy? Just turn around, you son of a bitch. Amazingly, that did not set off all manner of shit, which is weird. And when it comes to combat in this game, you want to try to exploit the last known position mechanic, as I've just done there. You know, just shoot and scoot. Go ahead and take your stuff. You didn't have any stuff? Oh. I'm probably now at the portion where I can pick up stuff. I probably have infinite ammo at this point, too. And I only have one weapon, which is the combat rifle. It works well enough, and I... Hmm. I opened that up with shift. I'm confused. Just shift. Is my tab button stuck or something? That was weird. Whatever. There we go. I was kind of trying to run. Okay, let's get behind stuff. This game is unique among stealth games because most people can't see you unless you, if you're behind a box. It's kind of funny. No problem. Up oh, there's another one. Not have confirmation yet. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, have to disengage. That's all right. Just as long as I stay hunkered down. Whoop! Are you gonna? No problem. It's amazing. Even with this loud weapon, they just don't know, folks. They just don't know. Who is this guy? Daka, daka, daka. <laughs> That's pretty much what happens. At least in this first portion. They get a little more active once uh, we get past tutorial mode. Okay. I was confused there for a moment. Well, this, is this where I came in? Make sure that guy dies a little bit faster, right? Hey, come back here. Open the door. Oh, watch out. 
I, I would help you, but this class for the chemistry lab, kind of bulletproof. Well, at least you had one good dying act. Go ahead and put you down a little faster. All right, here they come. Of course, if you want to do this quick and easy, you should just jump over the side. You don't have to fight any of these people. Four targets, not a problem. Don't make this weird. You made me weird. <laughs> you made it weird. Stop running. I'm not running. I'm shuffling about. As you can see, it's not too bad as long as you switch positions pretty frequently. I'm gonna find you. Ha! <laughs> he caught me out of the corner of his eye, that little fucker. Can you not go around the corner? Uh oh. There's a guy on my, on my flank. He got me, that little rascal! I lost track of my target. That'll happen. At this point, we're pretty darn squishy, to be honest, because we don't have any augmentations. We're a regular normie, Adam Jensen, right now. Let's try this again. This time with more feeling. Probably could tag them just as they come in the room, to be honest. There you go. I've got you now. Oh, he's got us now. Holy cockballs. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. I need to get moving. I know you're still here. Nope. Totally left. Alright, stop being so real screen. Let's see, I was gonna say, can I use... <laughs> Calm down, Paul. I was gonna say, can I use iron sights? And you know what? I can. What are you doing up there, huh? There you go. No big problem. I'm gonna test this whole infinite ammo thing. We'll see if it's true. I can't melee people to death right now either. I think I. Oh, I could throw these. M. Jensen, even without uh, cyber implants, pretty goddamn strong. I could have used those. Oh well, not a big bro. Ah, god damn it! Hey, Megan. Yes, Cod Raven, they can clearly throw flashbangs, and they work. God damn it! I hate that flavor. <laughs> That flavor of Gatorade. You can't splash that all over me. Ah, Jesus. CT probe shows the bullet caused severe hematoma. We need to repair that artery. My God, how thick was the glass? So as you can see from this scene, M. Jensen has fallen into the hands of the Strog, somehow, and now he's becoming one of them. It's just like Wait For this game, really. He doesn't need that. Except the whole transformation occurs at the beginning. <laughs> I love how they gotta put the 
logos everywhere on Jensen, even his lungs, you know, just in case he has a, like, sucking chest wound. They're all, oh, Seraph Industries, mm, good brand. <laughs> Bluetooth headset on this man. Quick. Alright, so now we're into the main game. Because clearly we've been cyberized finally. Which is good. Which is good. Now we can have all kinds of fun. David, you in the building? Maybe. Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A break-in at our Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. The I helipad. have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. All right, we'll see. Frank's on the second floor in the first. tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. I was gonna say, where was she again? Was he on this floor or the floor below? I think he's on the same floor we are. We're on. It's been quite a few uh, months since I played this game last, so you'll forgive me if I'm a little rusty. Hey, here's our office. I think he is on the uh, second floor. We're on the third floor. Yeah, technology lab downstairs. And he should be down here. He has a just incredibly large office. Yep, there it is. Richard? About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, no, nice I went to the wrong floor. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. I wonder if the Sentinel the Health Implant is a now. reference it's to uh, Ghost in the Shell, because they had Sentinel eyes in that one. But you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data, too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Those bastards. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Dude, I got shot in the head! Go fuck yourself! You got a problem with me, Pritchard. Why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough... Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacor, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list. But Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. His eyes are so glossy, it looks like he's about to cry. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your... We'll just play that into my whole role-playing thing here. That massacring was all you. Jensen. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like I'm continuing... I'm slap your ass in a second. That's right. Give me those points. Don't you also have a thing bob in here? I can't remember. I can't remember. It's not important. 
but I might have a Praxis kit in here. But no, we could go up to our office real quick. I think there's some stuff we can get up there that could be handy. Should have done that earlier, but oh well. We'll go this way, this is the fast way. We've got a pretty pimp office, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it overlooks everything. All right, we should have some stuff in here. That's not really what I wanted. Painkillers? We'll need some of those. This will be a painful playthrough. 